Eh, el, nuestro siguiente invitado es el profesor Cotarri May, es arquitecto, eh, catedrático en el Instituto de Ciencias de la Industria de la Universidad de Tokio y profesor de la Graduate School of Design de la Universidad de Tokio también. Actualmente es director adjunto de Design Learning Chain Platform, también como miembro fundador que promueve el DLX Design Lab y utiliza el poder de diseño para hacer de la ciencia una innovación desplegable. Se graduó en el Departamento de Arquitectura de la Facultad de Ingeniería de la Universidad de Kioto en 1990 y hizo el máster en Arquitectura en la Universidad de Tokio en 1992. Como profesor de Arquitectura, creó el Plan Maestro para la Reorganización de la Universidad de Tokio. Después de colaborar en los proyectos y obras de la Casa de Seminarios Kemi Wapua y en el Instituto de Ciencias Industriales, del cual estuvo a cargo, abrió su propia firma de diseño arquitectónico CSA en 2001. Desde entonces ha presentado obras residenciales como Double Square o como Cuatro Volúmenes. En 2005 fue seleccionado como finalista del concurso del Ayuntamiento de Tachikawa en Tokio. En 2007 se convirtió en profesor de la Universidad de Tokio, como profesor asociado y desde 2013 es catedrático en la Universidad de Tokio. Sus obras arquitectónicas más representativas incluyen el Anniversary Hall del Institute of Industrial Science, el Chiba Experiment Station Research Complex, el Mejoridai International Village, and, uh, el Urban and Grand Design for a Flood of Table City, el Katushika Ku, el Pentahar, el ISO Complejo de Evacuación de Tsunamis de la Ciudad, en concreto los proyectos E-Anniversary e Hall y Chiba Experiment Station y el Mejoradia International Village y Pentagar fueron seleccionados para su inclusión en el libro de selección arquitectónica del Instituto Universitario de Japón. También es conocido por ser investigación de análisis y planificación urbana y obtuvo un doctorado en 2009. La investigación del equipo de su laboratorio sobre la teoría urbana matemática, utilizando la red aleatoria de DLNI, es premiada con el premio anual al mejor artículo en 2019 por el Instituto de Planificación Urbana de Japón. Ha colaborado con nuestro vicerrector, el profesor Yintai, organizando estudios de diseño como parte de las actividades docentes de la línea de investigación ISLA, al frente de la cual está la profesora Flora Pescador, y realizaron exposiciones conjuntas como el ISLA Tokio, en la Embajada de España en Tokio en 2019, o el ISLA Las Palmas, en el Castillo de Luz en 2020. Con ustedes, Jota Reymundi. to be here, uh, to be invited, uh, such a super, super wonderful place, that's all the island. Um, it was so difficult to uh, travel to abroad in uh, uh, Japanese policy, uh, but uh, currently it's open, and uh, I'm so happy to be visit here. <coughs> okay, and uh, I, I'd like to pitch uh, completely different point of view. Uh, I have been engaged in uh, ISLA uh, activity for about uh, three years uh, with my old friend, uh, Professor Jin. Jin uh, Sankyu. Uh, and uh, we studied the development uh, of the port of the Las Palmas, uh, Gran Canaria, in 2020 and uh, Tokyo Bay in 2019 by both studio uh, co-working. This slide shows the uh, uh, project students worked uh, and introduced in the papers in the studies. Uh, we also held an exhibition uh, in Castillo de la Luz uh, in the studies uh, and the Spanish embassy in Japan. Um, for each other. And this picture is shot uh, <laughs> in the opening event of the ex exhibition at the Spain Embassy uh, in Japan as a proof of the uh, actual uh, friendship between Spain and Japan. Today, um, 
I would like to present my recent project uh, for flood response in Japan. So considering the recent uh, increase in the uh, frequency of flood disasters, uh, it can be described that we have already entered the era of the Anthropocene and climate change. As climate change progresses, uh, extreme weather events are expected to become the norm, and uh, the risk of disaster is certain to increase. The records of extreme weather events are constantly being broken. Uh, there are various predictions for the progress of climate change. It is said that the average temperature will raise, uh, rise by around 2 degrees in the next 20 years, doubling the risk of flood. Uh, the rate of climate changes are expected to be fast. We need to prepare our application to such rapid changes. So I live in Japan, a uh, country with an extremely high risk of disasters. Uh, every autumn, uh, typhoon of large magnitude occurs and cause extensive flood damage. Uh, the magnitude of this disaster is gradually increasing. And this picture shows that this, this disasters are by the big typhoon 14 this year. And you know, the earthquake have also occurred frequently, uh, causing tsunami. Japan, Japan uh, which has suffered from many such disasters, has uh, continuously invested heavily in civil engineering infrastructure uh, since the end of World War II. Uh, building sea wall all over the country in an effort to create a safer, safer land. The level of maintenance was approaching the expected level of uh, natural force. However, in the future, it will no longer be able to keep up with the uh, increase in the natural uh, external forces such as global warming. Uh, it is even possible that we may be pulled apart rather than caught up. Although not directly related to uh, climate change, the massive earthquake uh, that hit Tohoku uh, about 12 years ago said to have occurred uh, once every 1,000 years uh, caused a nuclear power plant meltdown, uh, one of the worst combined disasters in the world. A civil engineering infrastructure was defeated by the mighty force of nature. Uh, that this defeat made us realize the nonsense of the using civil engineering infrastructure to deal with all of nature's uh, mighty threat. The era of climate change is one coexisting with risk. Uh, there is no way to overcome uh, nature by physical force. It is important to think again about how to coexist wisely uh, with risk in the software. Uh, urban planning must not only deal with flood risk and disaster, but also with comprehensive urban development uh, from an uh, economic and environmental perspective. So extreme uh, methods uh, such as uprooting existing urban areas that have already been developed and relocating them to higher ground and building uh, environment are not realistic as a plan. Uh, furthermore, the uh, development of civil infrastructure while necessary is too time consuming. Uh, it is necessary to make the lifestyle of uh, existing building more flat and resistant on a more detailed architectural scale, for example, by making a second floor uh, and above into living area and the ground floor open to the public. Uh, in new building, from the beginning, the lower part of the building should be built in the form of piloty to allow vertical evacuation to upper residential area. And piloty should be active, actively used as a temporary use for 
daily commercial activities and events. A market that changes daily uh, or something uh, to make the city more vital. A disaster resistant city uh, would revive the traditional uh, stilt dwelling form and uh, five principles of modern architecture, uh, leading them with the contemporary values. Uh, Tokyo uh, has zero meter zone. Uh, there are many zero meter zones around the world, and it is believed that tectonic movement uh, caused the land away from the coast to sink and creating areas below sea level, but not allow, allowing sea water to enter. Another anthropogenic uh, cause is land subs subsidence due to excessive pumping of groundwater. In the Bay Area of uh, Tokyo's 20, 23 wards and uh, the eastern part of the city, uh, here, eastern part of the city. <coughs> uh, including Katsushika wards, uh, zone zero meter above uh, sea level, extend along both banks of the Arakawa River. This is the Arakawa River. And this is. And in the past, uh, tidal flats were uh, actively reclaimed to uh, expand uh, farmland, but these areas tend to be low-lying because the land is not raised. Uh, zero meter zones are prone to flood damage, and once flooded, it is difficult for the water to uh, receive naturally. So together with uh, uh, Katsushika was Tokyo. I and the researchers who uh, specialize in uh, urban disaster prevention have been studying the urban grant design for adaptable city to flood. That is a long-term master plan to realize, uh, realize uh, urban areas that prevent uh, human uh, casualty and reduce physical damage to, to an accept, acceptable level. Even if flooded uh, by looking uh, civil, civil decay into the future, uh, while taking advantage of the building renewal period. The concept is to systematically uh, form base city blocks and buildings that provide evacuation space and lifeline a function such as power, food, and water, and uh, in the event that people are left behind in the surrounding urban areas that are flooded, and that function as support center and recovery center for disaster victims. And as part of architecture design engineering, uh, we are proposing a specific prototype suitable for flood responsive architecture. In addition to responding to flooding, the project should consider what measures should be taken to respond to changing water level uh, while uh, creating a water familiar space and achieving a comfortable lifestyle. Architecture prototype consists of the pilotis uh, that provide a public space open to the city and artificial grounds that serve as an evacuation plaza for nearby residents in the event of flooding and a tower housing complex that uh, ensures the business visibility uh, necessary to maintain the basement. And uh, the penalty are uh, raised uh, above, above the flood depths uh, to protect, protect the building and uh, residents, residents from flooding. And uh, the elevated space between low rise volume, which is obtained by raising some of the buildings, provides an evacuation space for the residents of the surrounding area to escape. The function in the horizontal volume here um, includes sub, uh, service senior housing and medical nurse staffing. Uh, the vertical volume is planned to house uh, communal housing. 
Uh, both of these projects are designed to be highly business oriented with the uh, appeal of the uh, water friendly space and the sense of security as a disaster prevention center uh, as their strong point. The pilotage section is almost uh, seven meter high in, in line with the embankment and is used as a parking lot for fire, fire trucks and other vehicles to reinforce its function as a disaster base. And in addition, electrical and mechanical facilities supporting lifeline uh, plan within the artificial ground and emergency storage battery and private power generation uh, facility will be installed to prevent the uh, loss of lifeline in the event of flooding. And furthermore, in addition to uh, stockpiles, uh, supermarket that function as a huge stockpile in the event of uh, uh, emergency will be used to prepare for the uh, pro prolonged period of water logging. The new plaza, which is uh, located higher than the existing apartment, and is a highly amenity and water familiar space where the river always close to the eye. And the uh, outdoor plaza on the second or third and fourth floor uh, is designed as an evacuation space for approximately 1,600 1, residents in the event of flooding. Uh, while the garden and uh, outdoor terrace are designed to be used uh, as an escape space during normal uh, times. In normal times, it will be used as a garden and outdoor terrace to create a lively uh, atmosphere. A similar stair, stair uh, provided from the ground floor to the uh, evacuation plaza to ensure safe evacuation route uh, from the surrounding uh, area to the building. And the plaza will also be used as a landing site for rescue workers and goods transport. The evacuation plaza on the artificial ground is directly connected to the uh, embankment by the bridge, uh, which is used uh, to utilize the waterfront space uh, during normal times and to secure an es escape route to the road on the embankment in the event of disaster. The area outside the point where the embankment breaks will be used for evacuation foot to the surrounding area and for bringing in emergency relief supplies. And it is essential to plan such an uh, urban planning uh, concept in such a way that is uh, convenient for both daily use and disaster prevention and not to uh, give priority to uh, either. And if this plan can be developed in Tokyo Zero Meter Zone, could become a waterfront city like Venice. <laughs> I hope so. The uh, urban grant design for adaptive uh, city to flood is officially registered as a Katsushika World Fundamental Plan of the uh, municipality. And unfortunately, however, uh, the concrete planning decision are currently suspended. And next, uh, I would like to uh, introduce another uh, proposal. We are working on the is a tsunami evacuation complex at Toei in Izu City. And Izu uh, is a peninsula located in the southern part of uh, Honshu. Archipelago, Japanese archipelago. Uh, the Toei area is developed as a valley land form uh, here. Land form is a valley. Uh, that is so similar as already shown uh, in Dan's presentation. And uh, also, valley are so weak to the tsunami. It is close to Tokyo and uh, is a a uh, bustling tourist area with many uh, scenery spots, uh, rich in nature and many hot springs resorts. 
So uh, a uh, 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 we are working on is uh, also a place where traditional Japanese landscape has been preserved uh, and is famous for its uh, uh, senbon matsubara in Japanese. Senbon matsubara is uh, uh, that means a thousand, thousand pine trees forest in Japan. And uh, <coughs> this is an older photo uh, of this area. Uh, this is a summer season, and uh, many uh, tourists come to here. Uh, <coughs> but on the other hand, uh, this area is uh, so dangerous spot. And uh, the, however, the Nankai Trough mega earthquake, uh, which is expected to come eventually, is uh, said to bring a 10 meter high tsunami uh, uh, to a wide area around the Pacific coast, including this area. In Japan, uh, after the combined disaster of the Great East uh, Japan earthquake and tsunami, uh, many construction are underway to build concrete elevated platform uh, called tsunami evacuation tower. Uh, in area uh, that are likely to be hit by tsunami. However, most of tsunami evacuation uh, towers have only staircase and civil engineer floor deck, and uh, their landscape is uninspiring. The most important aspect of the tsunami evacuation complex is to provide uh, artificial and architecturally high ground and uh, floor where evacuation is possible. As for the uh, uh, function of the complex, since the site uh, is a scenery spot, so it is appropriate to use it for sightseeing uh, activity and by combining observation deck and uh, commercial activities. And in particular, the top of the floor is not only the most variable for evacuation purpose, but also highly variable location for the tourist uh, facility. Therefore, we plan to uh, interior the top floor as an observation deck and make it available for tourism purpose on a daily basis. Uh, this would also allow for an uh, outdoor evacuation space on the roof of the uh, interior evacuation space on the top floor. The top floor level can be even higher than the uh, interior evacuation floor, making the evacuation space safer and more secure. The overall, overall size of the space is uh, calculated based on the estimated number of tourists uh, in the evacuation zone and the location of local residents. Assuming that approximately uh, 1,200 people will be evacuated here. In addition to the uh, interior space, rooftop uh, is also allocated for evacuation space, resulting in a much smaller footprint and lower cost. The evacuation space is planned to have uh, attached uh, facility such as communication equipment. Uh, restroom, uh, emergency power supply, and emergency stockpile warehouse. The kitchen and uh, food storage area on the top floor, which is expected uh, to be used for commercial purpose, uh, should also be uh, considered for using use, use during the evacuation. This is the uh, structure model. Tower. And the structure members supporting the uh, evacuation space should have a small cross section area. This is because the area. Uh, uh, this is because the area below the evacuation space is uh, subject to tsunami horizontal stress. And the smaller the area, the smaller the tsunami force. And since the evacuation space is about 10 meters above the column, without uh, ingenuity, the column will be 
thicker to resist uh, buckling uh, by uh, the seismic horizontal force. Uh, therefore, in, the, in this tsunami evacuation tower structure, uh, buckling prevention is taken by reducing the column members and inserting the intermediate, intermediate beams. And uh, this is a photograph of the uh, intermediate evacuation floor and is expected to be used by visitors to, to the beach on the daily basis to take a rest. Uh, and, and since the evacuation space is located above, the floor will uh, create shade and if not uh, internal, internalized, it will become a, a well-ventilated uh, intermediate piloty space that can be used for uh, comfortable tourism. Uh, if, for example, outdoor uh, rest space, cafe, or other function arranged. The uh, level setting of the intermediate evacuation floor should be set within a structurally uh, reasonable uh, intermediate beam uh, level uh, setting range and uh, with the floor above the below the level of setting uh, appropriate to its function. Stairs must wide uh, enough to allow people to evacuate smoothly to the evacuation tower. The placement of stairs is also an important factor uh, in people's perception of the building as a tsunami evacuation complex. It is so convenient for evacuation uh, if the stair is placed on the exterior side so that people can visually uh, know where to climb. And uh, even from the daily perspective, a terrace with uh, good visibility uh, that is continuously with the stair uh, should be placed on the perimeter of the building so that visitors can enjoy the experience of uh, going up to the observation tower space while enjoying the view in the pine forest. The tsunami evacuation complex in Toei uh, has been designed by me, uh, my, my laboratory and construction has begun. With completion scheduled for the summer of 2024, we hope that uh, this will not only be a disaster prevention measure, but also a tourism resource and a new cultural context for the area. In addition, uh, the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism, which has uh, adopted a large sub subsidy uh, for its city, has shown a, a cooperative attitude toward the, this first prototype uh, in Japan. And if this facility is successful, uh, similar facility might be built throughout Japan. As mentioned above, I have uh, introduced a specific example of architecture and soft method in addition to civil and infrastructure for urban plant control. Uh, Bien, si alguien quiere hacer alguna pregunta rápida, y si no, metemos el acelerador a tope y pasamos a la siguiente ponencia. No, no hay preguntas. ¿Puede preguntar en japonés? Sí, también se puede preguntar en japonés. Sí. Sí, que translate to Japanese. Okay. Sí, sí. Congratulations, Imai. Thank you very much for your... Generosity. I think uh, for everyone knows that Japan uh, is, is struggling with a lot of different problems yes. and you're giving solutions mm. in a different way, a soft way, in architectural scale. Uh, can you explain a little bit also uh, the planning of the area uh, collaboration with other, other specialists? Uh, uh, and there are different areas. Uh, <coughs> Probably this is the first prototype, but in the future maybe we'll be mm. surrounding these areas and also 
some others that there is there are planning in connection in, mm. in urban scale. Mm. Uh, basically, the uh, the coastline of the, of the Japan uh, is so dangerous spot, many many dangerous spot. So we are uh, traveling uh, around the coastline <laughs> and to visit the uh, municipality and uh, to talk and discuss with the uh, mayor and uh, um, at certain mayors are so interested in this project and if the project is successful probably they ordered me again <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's going to be a mcdonald's of yes. <laughs> congratulations thank you